Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Among Stouts. If you're new here, my name is Samantha and I'm a new homeschooling mom of four kiddos. In today's video, I just wanted to share with you guys what my kids um, have for STEM this month, as well as what I have picked up for some fun sensory activities, mostly for my six-year-old and my two-year-old. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. I put up a couple of months ago about STEM in our homeschool and how we use um, KiwiCo for a part of our STEM. And so I just wanted to go ahead and do another um, update to that video because since that video, my toddler is now in a different level of the crate. And so if you haven't seen that video, I would go ahead and list it below just so you can get, a, get an idea of what he was doing before he was two. And um, I'll show you what he's doing now. So originally when he was um, still one, he was in the panda crate. And so now he has um, gotten old enough for the koala crate. And so this is actually his second crate. And I wanted to just be able to go through and show you guys what you can expect if you are purchasing or subscribing to KiwiCo and getting a koala crate. And so this one is... Um, the Koala Crate is for ages two plus, and this particular one is the Kitchen Play, Make a Pretend Mini Fridge and Build Sequencing Skills Through Imaginative Play. So here is the instruction guide for this Kitchen Play. There's the front of it, and then there are the instructions there. And then just like with the Panda Crate, the Koala Crate also comes with a super cute little book. And I love this because every month he can expect to get a new, a new book that is all his that none of my other kids have ever seen, touched, or read. Um, because as you would imagine, being baby number four, um, most of his toys and books and things like that are usually hand-me-downs. So... This is something that's brand new and all his, and I love every month getting one of these books. And then here is the um, the information guide. So I just love this guide because it tells you how the activity in your Koala Crate is being used for different um, developmental skills and sensory and thing and um, things like that. So your motor skills, your sensory development. This one says curiosity and creativity, early math and even communication. And so this guide is really, really informational and letting you know exactly what your little toddler is getting out of it. Um, because it's it really is more than just a toy. And so I'll just show you the inside of this here. So here's all about the kitchen play. And like I said, it's all about sequencing. And then here it says you're going to have um, ingredients for learning, kids in the kitchen, super sous chefs, and what's cooking. Those are the contents. So there's that. And then here where it says Ask Dr. D, this is where you're going to be getting all of that information about how this activity will um be beneficial to these certain areas of growth and development for your kiddo. And then this is really cool because the sous chef part of it, it gives you little recipes that you and your kiddo can make together. And then just like a little conversation and then some library recommendations. So this little guide, um, if you get the Koala Crate or even the Panda Crate, is always incredibly informational and um, I highly recommend re reading them because you'll learn a lot from it about what what stage your kid's in, what you, what you should be expecting to see, and how these activities are helping them in that part of their growth and development. So here is, it looks like some of this fell out. Um, but here's like, it comes with a card to show you how to make this meal or your toddler to make this meal. And then it shows you the ingredients to gather and then to plate it. And then here's another. So this is how you make a rocket. And then this one was a flower. This is really cute. And then here is the play mat for the kitchen. So 
there's a little mat for the kitchen and some of the oh here's more of the um thing so this is a sailboat and i haven't this is my first time opening it so that's why i'm like experiencing and finding all of these things right with you and so this is the flag which is really cute and then here is the shopping bag and then here are all of the some of these came off but there are some of the fruits and vegetables there's a banana and then we have some apples oranges and pears that are in here loosely one of these opened so there are the oranges and then there's some pears and apples and these I believe are to stick onto the shopping bag and then here's all of the ingredients for those different cards to make and so it's really cute um, the books for my kiddo the books last however the projects we can do them a couple of times um, before all of the pieces are lost or um, he rips something apart or something like that but simply because of the I love getting it simply because it's just an already put together um, way for me to work on some of those growth and development milestones with my son and if you I don't know if I've mentioned this in the past, but I do have a um, growth and development background and I previously worked with kids with autism. And so while I know how to put a lot of these things together for time purposes, for me, something like this is just really um, convenient. And I do also like to make different sensory bins for my kids and so if for my son and so if you guys are interested in that I can totally do a video on making different sensory bins just let me know if you're interested in that kind of thing um, but for convenience ease and purpose and because he loves these little boxes I love getting the koala crate and so then my daughter who is the eight-year-old she gets the doodle crate and this month hers is make your own textured clay luminaries okay so here is oop, one of her little things is on turn that off okay so here is the it says make your own textured clay lum luminaries air dry resin clay and there's that's what that should look like when she's done and here are, I'll just go through the instruction guide with you and show you what it looks like. Um, she is basically 100% independent with this. And same with my son when you see his Tinker Crates. They absolutely love getting these. And um, my kids do love to do like STEM projects and art projects, but none of them are actually into the same thing. So it's really hard for me to like purchase a ton of the um, materials necessary for some of the things that they want to do because they would do it like I would have one kid want to do a and another kid want to do B and then another kid want to do E and then they would only do it once so that's the other reason why I um, actually enjoy getting these kiwi crates is because my kids get a new project that's different from anything that we're doing in our homeschool um, that is specific to their interests and their um, and they're completely independent with doing it and there's and there's usually enough for just one project so they do it they have it and then the next month they can move on to a new one and then I'm not stuck with materials that will never get used again so that's also why I really love these um, so again that was her luminary and then just like before you have all of your materials in here and so these are there's that stuff um, this is the resin clay so you get absolutely everything that you need for these um, projects and so like there's the mat the um, and so here's the luminary mat guide there's that and then it even comes with the paint that she will need again her little candle 
tea, tea light candle and her tools and then there's more tools and my kids do hold on to whatever they do have extra um just in case like we have something that they want to use that if we have something on hand already um and maybe they want to use it for another project that they can do on their own um then they do that but a lot of these um these like individualized things like are all about them and so because I have one artsy and one tinker kid they usually don't like doing the same projects and this just works out better for us just to make sure that they can each do something that they enjoy and that they're interested in so like I said my son has the tinker crate and this one is um, make your own paper circuits so here is the this is the Tinker Zine, and this is kind of like the guide that comes in with like the Koala Crate, um, but for the big kids, but for the big kids, it's like their own little magazine sort of thing, and it just talks about whatever project they're doing in here. The inf the scientific information that comes in here always matches it and pairs well with it, um, and my son loves reading these things, and so there's this one and it's like in this issue electrons on the move electric magic show electric fish led robots circuit detective light up cards teeny tiny circuits tinker library and so some of these are just more um instructions for more things that they can make some of them are just information and then um yeah so it's really cool so as you can see here the electrons on the move is just information and then we get to the put on an electric magic show and that's like an activity that he can do here. So it's really, um, really cool. And like I said, my son loves this. So sometimes they have extra product in, the, in, in here that they can make the, um, do it, these extra projects with and sometimes they just need a, a, a few extra things um, that you may or may not have and you can just get that stuff to make the extra projects. So that's the Tinker Zion. And then it comes with a fold out um, manual or instruction guide. So this one's folded out like this. And like I said, my son um, is just 100% independent with these. And it's always so fun. I send him away or he goes away and he takes his little crate and 20, 30 minutes he comes back because he's done. <laughs> and I'm like, how do you finish those so quickly? It would take me forever. Um, and so here is it comes with these two sleeves um, and these are all of his tools that he needs for the circuit crate here's this little pouch of items um, these rings and again I don't really know what any of this is used for I just know that it all goes to the project and then there's all of the little circuits and battery so this is going to be a really cool um, stem project for him that I know he's going to absolutely love and I will say one last thing about why I choose to do KiwiCo um my husband and I are like an emphasis that we wanted to have in our kids for our kids as a part of our homeschool is stem I am just not very good at it <laughs> I, um, I have tons of books and we have purchased things to like do the projects in the books. Sometimes they turn out, sometimes they don't. Um, and KiwiCo just makes it so easy for me to make sure that at least once a month, my kids are doing something STEM focused. At a minimum, they are at least doing one STEM project a month. We do other things, like I said. Um, I try to plan them out. Sometimes we do multiples I'm like sometimes we do a few stem projects sometimes we don't do any and so then i'm thankful that we at least have their kiwi code to fall back on so now for my six-year-old we actually used to get her the um kiwi crate from kiwi co which is like their original kiwi co box i guess and she just was not interested and while my husband and i um are interested in our kids doing stem things um, at her age, we just give her a little bit more leeway with it because I don't want her to like, I don't want to, 
force her into it and then turn her away from it altogether. So we're kind of going along with her timeline and letting her find her interests. And so I don't want her to not get anything. So we had been subscribed to a Play-Doh kit company, um, but we we stopped that subscription. And now I actually really love purchasing the kits from do -Si do And so I'll show you the one that she has for this month. And so um, the one that she has for this month that I, I'm actually just now opening right now, so she hasn't seen it, is this kit here. And it has all of the things for her to make a nativity scene. So I'm really excited for her to do this. And um, a lot of times she will share her, her big Play-Doh kits with my two-year-old and they just play Play-Doh together. And I really love that because as far as like hand motor skills, Play-Doh is really, really good for that and helping to build their hand strength, which she really needs to work on and she really needs help with that. So um, when she wasn't interested in the Kiwi Crate, I decided that I would go ahead and spend the money um, on getting her these um, Play-Doh kits because I like the the I like the motor skill development that she's getting with the Play-Doh and then the creativity um, that she's getting with all of these, whatever the theme is that she gets each month. There's just creativity behind it. So it's still a sense of art and um, as well as some motor skills and some thinking skills of how she's going to build these things and put them together and make different scenes out of them. So it's still um, multi-sensory and um, she gets a lot out of it. So I really, really do love these and these are so cute. I want to show you guys the characters and then I'll stop talking about this one. <laughs> um, so here are the pieces. Let me gather them. So you get like little fuzz balls in here. A lot of times you get a lot of gemstones and like little pebbles and things like that to do it. There's in this one you have these little like tree stems. A lot of times you can find pipe cleaners in here. They get cookie cutters um, in here sometimes and they always go with the theme. So whatever the theme is, everything will match in there. This one comes with a rolling pin, which I think is really cute. And um, let me gather all of the elements. Um, little sticks like this you can find in here too. Um, sometimes there's coins. There's just always all different kinds of little sensory pieces that you can get in here. Which, again, I love. So let me put those back. And then I'll just show you all of the little um, figurines that came with the nativity scene because they are so cute. So we'll start off with this one, with this beautiful angel. And then we have the three wise men. So here's one, two, three. And then there is um, the lamb, which is so cute. And the cow. And then there is a donkey. A camel. And I believe this is a shepherd. Well, I think this is a shepherd. It's either a shepherd or Joseph, but I also think maybe that's Joseph and this is a shepherd. There, and then we have another here, which these two must be the shepherds since they have lamb on them. And then there's Mary. And then of course we have beautiful baby Jesus in a manger. So cute. So I'm super excited for her as soon as I saw this. I actually missed the first time that this went on sale and I was so sad about it. So as soon as they relisted like whatever they had left in stock, I quickly purchased one. Um, and so I will show you. This is do -Si do and you can find them on Instagram too. But they have the absolute cutest, 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 um, Play-Doh kits and so and they have various sizes 
So you can purchase this size here, which is like a full Play-Doh kit. And then they sell a mini kit, um, which is just like a section. So it's, it would be like this. It will come with only one or two Play-Dohs, I believe. And then um, half of the amount of other stuff would be a mini kit. And so that's always a great option because then you're spending less. And then they also have these things called um, on the doughs, which are just one little tub of Play-Doh and then a whole bunch of sensory pieces. So um, definitely check out do -Si -Do, their website or on Instagram um, if you're looking for some already put together um, Play-Doh sensory fun for your kiddos. I love that. And so the last thing that I want to share with you is another purchase that I have from Dosido, -Si -Do, and I actually had forgotten that I bought these because they released um, back in November, but they uh, were holding them until mid-December to ship in time for Christmas. And so I forgot that I bought these for stocking stuffers, but I wanted to share them with you um, because I believe you can still go online and purchase them and maybe pay for like two day shipping and get them on time. But these are what the on, on the doughs would look like. And so I have six of them here. So I'm thinking I'm going to give um, probably gift two of these away and then each one of my kids will get one. So I purchased three of the um, Christmas, Christmassy themed on the dough kit. So there's... Um, if you can see here, the dough is green, and then there's some pipe cleaners in there, and then some red red and green fuzz balls, and there's little inky dinky tiny ornaments in there, and some like presents in there, and so I have three of those, and these make great, great, great stocking stuffers, so definitely check out their site if you can get them. And then I also got um, three here. Sorry, they're a little bit bright. Three of the um, Let It Snow theme. And so these are super cute too. These have a little snowman, like an inky tinsy. These have like an itty bitty, it's really hard to see, tiny um, like snowman cookie cutter. There's some tree branches in there. Um, these look like ice. They're white and blue little crystal sensory beads. Um, then there's some sensory balls down here, some pipe cleaners, but there's also like a little kit here to make a little Play-Doh snowman. So I thought that was super, super cute. And so that is what I have from Dosido. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and seeing a little bit of how we do STEM and some sensory in our homeschool when I'm not making the kits myself. So I personally like to rely a little bit on, um, things that I can purchase pre-made and that are already all put together for me simply for convenience purposes, but also because they're things that my kids really enjoy um, to do in our homeschool and they love getting their own mail and so that's also a fun aspect of it. Um, so again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here as a part of my community and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.